Well, it's Monday evening, and I'm working on more things at one time than I got any business doing. These are just comparison to each other. Uh, this is one that I got almost ported. I'm waiting for carbides to arrive. Um, I got two cylinders right there that are in the same state as this one here, waiting for carbides to arrive and finish them out and make them look nice. Uh, got a 346 hybrid over there that needs to be put back together. Got a 590 right here that needs to be well, that's to test those two cylinders over there when they're going. There's a 490 up there. That's to test the 4910 cylinder. And then I got all my stuff back from uh, Novice Lumberjack's Horizontal Hustle. So I guess I'll talk about that. Here's the saw. I've got videos of it on the channel. It's a uh, Husky 55 with a 350 44 millimeter top end and a circle crank. Um, I took 12th place. Do I think I could do better? Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of hurdles on this one, but um, not particularly disappointed at placing. I was just personally disappointed in how, uh, how I had to send it out and the condition it ran in there. But, you know, you get hurdles in life and whatever. Uh, so, that's that. I do have future plans for it. I think I want to put a 353 top end on it. That way I have uh, quad port transfers. Um, I think that would be cool. So there's this saw. Uh, I have to rob some parts back off of it to uh, put the other 55 together for the fella that kind of sponsored me through the whole thing or who did sponsor me through the whole thing. Um, so yeah, this one's going to get ripped apart and thrown back on the shelf for a while. Next thing got shipped in is a 2054 John's Red in pieces um, Bodie sent that to me really appreciate that I kind of helped him with a few things here and there uh, to saw wise so um, I guess this is how he's repaying me it's pretty cool if everything on this is good I plan on porting this cylinder and then converting it to a 2055 uh, pinning that everything goes smoothly with the saw um, porting for Bodhi. Uh, this is dual port transfers. I've just kind of ran a burr through some of the corners and the, uh, the ports to help me see them a little better. They're really dark. Uh, and I've kind of knocked out some of the some of the roughness in the casting uh, where I could. Don't know the timing on these yet. That's the next thing to do. But yeah, this one's gonna get put together, and I guess right now the easiest thing to, this would be the easiest time to test it for air leaks. So I'll do that, and then uh, throw it all together and try and get it running. And here is Bodie's 2055. I'll be porting it for him. I'm not sure exactly when. I kind of talked to him about that. And he's okay with it. Because uh, I asked about turnaround time to figure out if I needed to get the cylinder to the machinist now or if I could wait a month or two and uh, get some other things out of the way. This is a heated version. And I believe the one of the wires in there I think he said was broke so I'm gonna try and get the heated handle working and, and um, I'm gonna end up porting it he 
did mention that he thinks it's got an air leak. So I'll chase that down. I'll pull all my vac equipment out and uh, you know making sure this thing is in proper operating condition is uh, the first thing I have to do before it gets ripped apart and hot rotted. Um, so yeah that's some upcoming projects. I do need to jump back into my oil testing series. Not 100% sure I may have to just bite the bullet and buy a different trimmer for that. The one that I have is running kind of funny, but I'm not sure if it's an ignition coil issue because I put a new carburetor on it. It didn't have any air leaks, uh, but it still tunes out funny. So uh, there's that. I'm sure uh, I wanted to do a lot more oil testing, but sometimes your ambitions don't match up with your abilities at the moment um, in your free time as well. So there's a status on that. And I think that covers it. Uh, this is a backup 2055 cylinder in case for some reason something goes wrong and I wreck that one. I have this one here. Uh, there's also a 254 that I'm starting to piece together. And yeah, like I said, I got way more projects than anyone's got any business having. I need to start knocking some of this stuff out and uh, clearing out the space in my garage. But that's all the video was, is updates and stuff on the channel. I'll try to produce some actual content other than this filler crap like I did here. But thanks for watching and y'all enjoy whatever y'all are doing at the moment.